Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Breaking Bad. Last time on uh, last time on Breaking Bad, we had Buried. I don't know what I was about to say. Almost, I almost, I feel like I almost said Dracula. What the hell? I don't watch anything that starts that like that's called something like that. So, last time on Breaking Bad, we had Buried, where uh, Hank. Uh, told Skylar, but Skylar didn't say anything because she doesn't want to implicate herself. Uh, and she got slapped by Marie, and uh, she was like, "Look, we need to just stay quiet for now." And Hank only has his suspicions. And Walt buried all his money in the desert. And uh, then, at the end, we had Hank actually finding uh, Jesse. Because Jesse was uh, in with questioning with the uh, with the police, and Hank went in there, and who knows what could happen. Maybe Jesse is what uh, Hank needs in order to get Walt. We will definitely have to see. Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. This is also where I say if you want to watch my reaction to this episode of Breaking Bad, what you gotta do is head down in the description or to the pinned comment, click on the link, that will take you over to the reaction. You can watch it just like a normal reaction, and when you're done with that, you can pop right back over here to this video for the discussion. So with that being said, let's get right into this episode of Breaking Bad. Here we go. Alrighty, holy Toledo, Jesse has just weaved his way back into the plot, hasn't he? You know, I kind of said, it's like, okay, he's kind of a, like a loose end, like Jesse hasn't been doing a lot this season, but he's back, he's back, because you can't, you can't not have Jesse, Jesse is basically as important of a character as Walt is, you know? So, all of this going down, there has to be another conflict, uh... Now a conflict between Walt and Jesse. Oh, he's ready to end Walter White. Which, okay, so... Uh, when we flashed forward uh, to the Denny's future again, we saw spray-painted on his wall the word Heisenberg. That had to have been Jesse then. Now granted, his house was not burned down, but still... It was probably just burned on the inside, but I don't... See, that's the thing. I don't remember it being burned on the inside. It just... I remember the house being empty, but yeah. But it was pretty dark in there, so I must, it must have just been that I didn't notice. Um, but, despite all this, I mean, the ricin is still going to be there, and Walt's still going to get it, you know? Oh, boy. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into the notes. Uh, the first thing I wrote down is Todd and management. So, Todd is going to be cooking on his own now. And um, they says like, oh, there's been a change in management and stuff like that. And, you know, you could assume that it's like, well, you know, that's just from the last episode with, you know, killing Declan and all of his guys. But... They seem to imply that they also killed Lydia, but I don't know. But it doesn't make sense that they would kill Lydia, you know? Because with her, they could get the distribution over to, you know, the Czech Republic, you know? So they can't do that, so unless they just think they don't care, you know? Unless it's just that they don't care about it, which is entirely possible, but still. So... I don't know. I thought that was kind of weird. It's like, so are you implying that you killed Lydia or not? We really don't know. So I don't really see Todd and everything coming back, you know? Like, I think that's just sort of on its own now, you know? But yeah. Okay. Um, we had Jesse and Hank, which was interesting. Um, you know, at first I was thinking like, you know, he's like, yeah. I'm not talking to you. Like, I was kind of thinking, like, well, maybe Hank's just going to have to bite the bullet and, you know, s you know, tell the DEA and have Gomez go in there instead. 
you know? But that didn't end up happening. I think, you know, maybe that could have happened, but the problem is, is that that is a big gamble for, uh, it's a big gamble for Hank because that will, it will still result in Hank, you know, basically ending his career right there. And we're not sure if he's ready yet, you know? So that was pretty crazy. Um, man, poor Flynn, Walter Jr., the poor kid left in the dark so much. I mean, it's going to have to come out now. The house is going to be torched, you know? The house is about to be torched. Oh, man, oh, man. I mean, that's the thing, you know, they says like, oh, well, there's no danger anymore. And it's like, well, you didn't think about Jesse. You didn't think about Jesse. But, but yeah, it's like, cause yeah, it's, you know, with Walt out of the game and everything, it's like, yeah, there really wasn't anyone left, you know, especially without, uh, Gus, you know, Gus was sort of the primary threat and then, you know, so was Mike to an extent, but with that done, with that done, yeah, there really wasn't anyone left to pose a danger to the house. But they did not count on Jesse figuring out the ricin. They didn't. Th they didn't think about Jesse figuring out the ricin. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Now, I guess here's something interesting because earlier in the season, yeah, you know, we had the whole thing of, you know, searching the house, searching Jesse's house for the ricin. And they found it, you know? But why exactly was that? I don't remember fully, you know? Why were... Because he didn't think... It was, it was season four where he thought, Oh, well, you know, you poisoned Brock with the ricin. No, but, but I mean, he didn't poison him with the rice, and he did it with the, you know, the lily of the valley. He did it with the lily of the valley. So... I don't know. I'm not quite sure how Jesse came to the conclusion that... You know, they stole... They had Huel steal the ricin, and then, uh, Walt poisoned Brock. I'm not entirely sure how he came to that conclusion. Well, maybe we could go back. Go back and check. Okay. Why is it here that he came to that conclusion? Why is it here that he came to that conclusion? Because it's it wasn't the ricin that poisoned Brock, you know? Oh, crap. Oh, why can't I figure this out? I don't know. 
But he figured out that... Well, I guess because it was a distraction. He figured it out, I guess because, you know, take it off of Jesse so that Walt can hide it in his house. So, no, that didn't make sense. Shit, I don't know. I can't figure out what is what is the connection. Maybe if I go just a little further back to when he's looking at the case, the pack of cigarettes. So I guess he goes for the dope. Okay, I assume he's going for the dope, but instead he gets the cigarettes. Which he didn't have. Okay. I guess it's because he didn't have the dope. But he had the cigarettes instead. Basically just... He had that so that... You know, I guess so... It would... Feel right in his pocket or I don't know or he just knows I guess he just figured it out that Huel took the dope off of Jesse so it stands to reason he took the rice and cigarette and it was Walt that poisoned Brock I guess that's the connection there I guess damn it all I can't I can't fully think of it. I, I think that's the connection because because now he knows that Huel can take something from him without him noticing that he knows it was Huel that took the rice and cigarette. Saul had Huel take the rice and cigarette and then by that connection by that connection Walt poisoned Brock. I guess I, I might have to rewatch some a, a little bit of that scene in season four as well. Because that's the thing is that, you know, in that scene when he's accusing Walt, Walt is able to turn it around and say, no, this is Gus that's doing this. He's trying to divide us, you know? So I'm not fully sure. I'm not fully sure, man. I'm not fully sure. Anyway. Man, we we actually like jumped around in the notes a little bit there. We were talking about Flynn, and now we're talking about this. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, we had the confession, uh, which was interesting. I thought it was... I, see, I thought he was going to make a deal. Like, I will give you the confession if you promise, you know, that the money stays with us for for the kids. Now, that would have been a gamble because would Hank have gone for that, you know? Maybe not, but, um, and especially too, because I, I, that would still be, that wouldn't be legal, you know? But if he had the confession, that would have been something. But So that's what I thought it was going to be with the confession. But then we had the dinner scene, which was tense as shit. Um... And, yeah, honestly, it's just so interesting watching this, like, a super villain at work, you know? Just this mastermind. And, oh, that was so crazy. Um, so, yeah. And then, you know, just that whole thing of, like, oh, well, the kids are safe. Well, they were. Except they didn't account for Jesse Pinkman. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, and then, yeah, it's like, oh, here's the confession. Not exactly. Uh, because the confession was confessing to... Was confessing that Hank was the mastermind. Which, that was... That was crazy, man. Which, we had, like, three mic drops right in a row. First, we had, you know, uh, Marie saying, it's like, why don't you just kill yourself? It's like, if this dies with you, then why don't you just kill yourself? It's like, damn, Marie, 
It is harsh, man. Uh, and then we had Hank. I don't remember what Hank's was specifically. I'm going to look at that. Yeah, okay, that was it. It's like, he's not getting off that easy. It's like, damn, drop that mic too. But then the biggest mic drop of them all, the Heisenberg mic drop, is that confession, man. That was insane. Like, oh, geez. So, yeah, it's like, it's not a confession. It's basically, a, you know, it's a threat, but I love that. It's just so brilliant. And Because you know, that's the thing. It's like, Brian Cranston is an amazing actor, and I love that that basically, like, transcends him and now even Walt is an amazing actor because damn that was convincing you know so I love that but yeah it is just a threat but the $177,000 that Hank didn't know about like yeah that's that's the final nail in the coffin on all of them you know that could take them all down it's like you you used drug money to pay for Hank's operations to pay his medical bills like that's pretty bad. That is really, really bad. Oh my gosh. And then we had leave. Leave! Anyway, but yeah. So we had Jesse having to leave. And yeah, that was definitely, you know... Um, which, I mean, I guess Walt, for a little while, was... He was willing to just let Mike go. You know, go into the night. Uh, but it was, you know basically Mike pissing him off that ended up in Mike dying, you know? But he he didn't want to kill Jesse. And that's the thing, you know, Jesse's saying, he's like, oh, you're not actually concerned with me. Just say you need me gone. I'm a liability. Just say it. And the thing is, while yes, technically that is true, I do think to an extent Walt does care about him. It, I, I, I do think that, you know, I think he cares about him Kind of like he does, you know, care about Flynn and Holly, you know? So, I, I think he does care about him, but yes, you know, it wasn't really just like, oh, maybe you just need a change. More like, you're a loose end, man. You're going to have to go, you know? So, yeah, but then we had the Ricin. The Ricin. Man, he was going to go to Alaska. It was going to be great. But no, he figured out the ricin that if Huel can if Huel can steal the dope, he could have stolen the ricin, meaning that Walt did poison Brock. I think that's the connecting thread. You guys can you know help me out in the comments on that one. But I think that's the connection there. And yeah, he is now out for blood with this one, and he's he's about to set fire to the house. So it's everything is literally about to everything's about to ignite and yeah uh we've got five more episodes that's crazy we have five more episodes still i feel like we're really like you know about to collide all here but yeah oh man this is the thing that will bring down uh that will bring down heisenberg is jesse oh boy oh boy Okay, so I'm excited for where we are going uh, with the next couple episodes, and yeah, oh, this is this is gonna be nuts. It's it's already nuts, but it's gonna be even more nuts. Nuts abound on this show, is what I'm saying. So yeah, that is basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from Seventh Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Breaking Bad reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure to hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.